Today, I want to show you how you can get that vintage checked cracking look on your guitar straight from a can. So I'm going to be using this Relic Nitro Gloss from Night or Lack. I'm using the can version, but you can also get it to put in a spray gun. And I'm actually going to use it on top of this trans red finish strap that I've got. I've actually got a video about how I went through the process to get this finish, also using Night or Lack products. A lot of you would say, well, why do you want to do anything else to it? Well, if you know me, my guitars often have quite extreme paint jobs on it. So I wanted to take it to the next level. And I'm not really going to focus in this video about how I got the relic white look on it. As you can see, I'm using stick on vinyl transfers that I make and sell. What I'm interested in showing you here is the process I went through on a final finish, which you can absolutely do on a guitar, which is one solid color. But like I said, that's not my thing. And I don't need to show you any footage of me using the can in a spray booth. I'll just explain what I've done. But essentially, once I'd sprayed the white over the guitar, I peeled off my transfers, did a little bit of sanding, added a little bit of this, which is another Nitalac product. It's a vintage amber spray. I really like it because it comes out so translucent. You can just layer up to get it as deep and dark as you want. I just use it to add a little bit of an aged look. Then I went on and put the Relic Nitro on. Now with the Relic Nitro, I just simply put three coats on like I might do with my final clear coat. Three coats on top of the coat that was underneath. If you're putting this on top of a non-nitro finish, you need to give the finish a light sand first with something like a 600 grit. That allows the nitro to engage with it and bind into the surface. If you're putting it on top of nitro, then you can just spray it on and it will melt into the surface underneath. By three coats, I mean I did it in one session, 15 minutes between each coat. And each coat is me essentially going horizontally and vertically over the whole body, making sure I'm going round the edges. And then as with all nitro, you need to leave it. So I left it for two weeks. Once those two weeks are up, I did the magic. And that is I put it in a freezer overnight. Now I didn't film that process, but let me just show you here with these samples that I was working on. Once you put it in the freezer and it comes out, it often looks like this. I don't think it's suitable to work on it straight away. And also when it comes out, it's quite hard to see the checking of the cracks. So you might think it hasn't worked, but if you leave it a day, and I don't think it needs much more than a day, those cracks show up. They partly show up because as the body warms up, the checking appears. Now, the checking is very fine and very narrow and quite hard to see to start with, which is why I'm using this process. Night or Lack actually sell a relic patina that you can rub in, but I'm using paint. I'm simply mixing up acrylic paint with some water. I've also done this with um, oil paints and also I've done it with some stain, but the stain you need to wipe off much quicker because it can mark the nitro surface. What I'm doing is I'm rubbing the acrylic into the surface as much as I can. You can see I'm really brushing it in and then I'm going to wipe it off. Now I'm doing this part this first section in real time so you can see that I'm not leaving the acrylic on too long and in fact if it's not dark enough when I first do it I can then do a second coat on it but once you wipe it off what you see is that the acrylic has seeped into those cracks and really highlights the cracks now the reason I'm using red is I wanted something that I thought would match a bit with the varnish underneath the red trans red and maybe that's not the most realistic finish Using a brown or a black might be better. I might make it stand out more, but I want to do something a little bit different. So you can essentially mix up any color you want. And you can see what a difference it makes. So here it is before and here it is after. Massive difference. Now let me show you that a few more times so you can see how I'm working on it. The bottom left is again in real time. The others I've sped up. Where the neck plate will go is a bit that's going to be essentially could be covered up. So that's a really good space to test. A place that might be under a scratch plate is a really good place to test your paint on or whatever it is you're rubbing in to check you're getting the exact finish and colouring you want. Now I'm using a bit of sandpaper here, partly because I'm going over the finish and that helps clean up any acrylic that might be left on the white. It's coming away better. And you might carry on doing this in order to polish your guitar up. If you want to do, get your really high gloss polish finish, 
You normally go through the buffing stage of using sandpapers, wet dry papers, and then buffing compounds. But actually for this guitar, I haven't done that because I want it to look old and relic. So I want some sections that are polished and glossy and some sessions with a bit more matte, a bit more satin, a bit more worn. So for a moment here, I'm just going to talk over some images of the finished guitar so you can see what I'm aiming at and then I'll show you how I got there. There are other ways to do this without this product, but this product is designed to make it easier for you to do. And Nitalac in fact recommends some other ways to do it as well on their website. So using this Relic Gloss Spray, you could go in with a hairdryer or a heat gun and add heat to it and then cool it and heat it in what is it more of a traditional way of causing the checking to happen. And just to note, it's easier to get this finish using this spray because it's designed to crack and check. Whereas a contemporary nitro finish is designed to last and not crack. You don't want cracks in your guitar unless you want it there deliberately. So just to note, as well as selling their modern nitro finishes and this relic finish nitro, Nitrolat do also sell a golden age nitro and the golden age nitro is designed more like the formula that traditional nitros have so it will age and crack over time in case you do want that natural finish to naturally happen but you don't want to wait 40 years for it. So do let me know in the comments if you're interested in using this product. If you have used it, how did you find it? And if you've got any questions about how you use it, do let me know. I check the comments regularly and I get notifications so I'll be able to respond to you. There's actually a link in the video description to how I finished this trans red on the guitar. All the stage I went through from filling, dyeing and then spraying the red. Well, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I've got other videos using Nitrolat products, other videos about how to finish your guitar, how to use sprays. So do like and subscribe if you want to see them. And if there's something you want to see that I haven't made a video on, let me know as well. Until next time, happy strumming.